Well, we talk about it almost as much as we talk about Taylor Swift these days. Our Stanley Cups, even if you're not in on the trend, though, I know you've probably seen them every day. Yeah, and some social media posts have its giant fan base concern. There may be some negative effects to the aesthetic appeal. Amelia Young's been looking into some of those claims for us this morning because uh, you're a Stanley owner yourself, Amelia. <laughs> yes, I am. I, I will say I don't put anything exciting in mine. It just carries my water every morning. Some people put coffee in it. They put smoothies in it. Mine is just the basic water cup. I guess I could be using something else, but I got this years ago just because I like the color, had a handle. It was nice, but now, of course, people are paying upwards of hundreds, even thousands of dollars for special limited edition ones of these. We're not talking about that craziness this morning. What we are talking about is some videos that have gone viral claiming that these Stanley Cups contain lead. So we looked into it this morning. This is a really big deal because lead exposure is no joke. It comes with a number of really nasty side effects. But the big question, will you be exposed like some of these posts are claiming if you own a Stanley and use it? Well, short answer this morning we can give you is no, but you you might be surprised to learn that there is lead in the cup. I started researching this uh, earlier this week when a friend of mine actually sent me one of these posts and she was concerned because she knew I had one. Turns out lead is used as part of the tumbler's vacuum insulation. That's according to the manufacturer Pacific Market International. That lead though is covered by a stainless steel layer that protects consumers from any exposure. Some experts are saying that's enough for them to ditch the cup because lead is just so toxic you can't take any chances a statement from stanley follows with rest assured that no lead is present on the surface of any stanley product that comes into contact with the consumer nor the contents of the product now if the base cup of the stanley comes off that's where that lead can be exposed but stanley says they said in a statement it is very rare for something like that to happen if yours does come undone you do have a lifetime warranty you can get that sent back just keep an eye out if you do continue to have one but really raises the question do you keep it do you let it go i mean again i just use it as a water bottle there's hundreds of other choices on the market i will say though this morning stanley isn't the only brand that uses lead there's several other travel mug companies that use similar practices we've got more details on that if you want to look into that for yourself this morning on our website newschannel5.com send it back to you guys